Thanks for joining me, I'm DJ Jason Hooper, and in this video I'm going to give you three reasons that wedding DJs are more valuable than any other type of DJ. Stick around. Alright guys, like I said in the intro, I'm going to give you three reasons that wedding DJs are more valuable than any other DJs. So let me just put it out there that I'm not here to disparage or put down any other type of DJing. I know lots of club guys and I know lots of DJs who do other things besides weddings who are killing it as well. However, I am here to say that I believe wedding DJs are more valuable in terms of turning their knowledge and skills into profit, into money making. So that's what I'm here to talk about. Uh, if you disagree, please leave me a comment. If you agree, also leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe guys. So let's get to the list. So the first reason why wedding DJs are more valuable than any other form of DJing is they have their own gear. So what does that mean? Well, when a club DJ or a bar DJ rolls up to their venue or their event space that they're playing, they don't need to bring speakers. They don't need to bring any sound system. They don't need to bring microphones if they're gonna use them at all. They don't need to bring lights everything that they need to sound good, well, everything that they need to have sound played to the crowd is already there. And their light show is already there too, and most of the time it's run by someone else, so they're not worried about it. All they have to do is hook up their mixer, their laptop, controller, whatever they're using to the venue sound system, and they're off to the races. Now I know there are exceptions. I know a couple of DJs who bring their own sound system and it is big enough to rock a baseball stadium. They also bring their very professional intricate light shows. They bring fog, haze, they bring it all. Uh, but generally speaking, I would say that this is not the norm. They're usually not required to bring any sound if they don't want to. It's more a matter of them wanting to be able to control the sound, which I totally understand. But when a wedding DJ rolls up to a venue, there's no PA speakers, there's no microphones or any other sound reinforcement, there's no light shows, there's sometimes not even a dance floor, sometimes there's not even power if you're in a rural market like I am and we're playing off a generator. So we bring all that gear to every gig that we do, every wedding that we do all the time. And why do we do it? We do it because we have to, but we also know what we need to make the wedding the best that it can be and to make the show go on. Reason number two that wedding DJs are more valuable than any other type of DJ is we are better at reading the crowd. So crowd reading is a skill that you learn as you DJ. Some people are inherently good at it, some people have to learn it, and it is the skill of reading a room and trying to decide which song will be the right song to play next, which song will get the most amount of people out on the dance floor, which song you might use to turn the dance floor over so you can get a new crowd out there and the other crowd that's been out there can go grab a drink or go rest and relax. And the reason wedding DJs are so good at this is because week in and week out, there's a wide variance of ages that we're playing to. And not only are we playing to a varied age range of people, we are also can be playing to people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different demographics. So not only could a wedding DJ be following up the Isley Brothers shout with a Cardi B song, they might need to follow up with a regional line dance song like Copperhead Road, an international or Latin song like Suavemente, or the latest greatest line dance like the Get Up. And it is a valuable skill that wedding DJs possess. Now this isn't to deny any credit to club and bar DJs or DJs that do other gigs. Most of the time these other DJs specialize in certain forms of music in which they have to have deep knowledge. House and electronic music comes to mind here, which admittedly I know very little about. I know what's been popular, that's been on the radio, but that's about it. But it is to say that club and bar DJs are not playing this wide of a variety of music week in and week out like wedding DJs are. And this brings me to the third reason that wedding DJs are more valuable than any other form of DJing, and that is that wedding DJs have to have a wide knowledge of all music, well, all popular music anyway. As a matter of fact, my library contains popular music spanning from the 1950s all the way to this week. Why? Well, that's because I'm gonna be playing again from crowds to to 80s and 90s, and you're trying to make most of the people happy most of the time. Most of the time that I've played at bar or club gigs, which admittedly is not as often as weddings, 
there's been themes or we've been sticking to very current music because that is the clientele that these places generally serve. And in my opinion, it is a valuable skill to be able to read the room, see what age range is there, and throw on a set of music that might take some people back to when they were in high school or their wedding, or just throw on a good 80s or 90s set or a disco set or a funk set. It is a really valuable skill to know such a wide range of music. So that's it guys, three reasons that wedding DJs are more valuable than any other type of DJing. What do you think? Are there any other skills that you think make wedding DJs more valuable than any other type of DJing? Or do you disagree with me completely and think I'm crazy off my rocker and that I need to get out of here? Either way, drop me a comment, let me know. And if you like this video and wanna see more, like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. I'm gonna be doing this every week. Thanks for dropping by guys, have a good week.